Hey guys, so a while ago I bought this phaser laser device which was used in an industrial environment to laser onto some metal parts and I got it via a site like Craigslist. I drove there about eight hours back and forth and disassembled it to get it into the car and now installed it so far back up again here with this linear motor on the z-axis and the laser driver and the motor driver here and the scanner head of the phaser laser. Overall this system works and it does what it uh, is supposed to do as intended only that the PC that was included is using this PCI Express card to drive the whole thing and it's not via USB or something and the protocol this thing uses is uh, quite proprietary so what I did was ordered one of these driver cards which can be used with ESCAD2 or Lightburn, which is a yeah, paid model for such lasers or engravers. And the goal is now to yeah, just get out this PC and the PCI Express card, install this new ESCAD driver board somewhere here in the um, case and connect it to, for once, of course, the laser and the scanner head as well and get it all running and normally this card should even support the z-axis so we can have automatic focus of the laser head and let's see how it will turn out i'm quite curious as the shipping of this new driver board did took quite some time and yeah let's see how it goes. So back at the table, uh, that was quite simple so far. So I installed the driver board here, screwed it onto it, replaced the wiring to connect the laser directly to it, uh, connected the correct wires here to the scan head. The scan head itself is powered by the motor driver box as well and yeah, so I also needed this 5 volt uh, supply, so I used that and first try, turning it on, nothing happens right now, I have my laser goggles here, we can click on light and we already see it lighting up as it should. And now clicking on mark, we'll also just mark it as intended. And since the motor driver is not connected right now, we do not have much focus. But you can see that it does uh, correctly laser engrave the aluminium. So now I will continue to connect also the motor driver. And this is how the Z-axis is controlled right now. We have this um, stepper driver controller, which puts out the direction and step counts to this um, stepper driver itself. This is controlled by the PC software via a UART connection. And this is the basic motor driver or stepper driver you know from many other projects or so and I am going to directly connect the stepper driver to this uh, connector uh, going further into this box and then just connecting it here to the uh, appropriate step and direction pins on the new driver board. So in the future, we only have one USB connection. I also installed this uh, extension cord here. 
so we can control the whole laser system just via one USB connection and any PC, laptop, etc. you got around. So basically it's just cleaning it here a bit, removing the PC stepper driver, connecting this wire directly to the other driver and yeah, connecting it here inside as well. So also not too hard to achieve. But let's see. After now finishing the wiring inside of these boxes, we got this connector fully set up with the direction and pulls and end stop wiring. And also I now changed it so that the five volt from that box is being used to power the uh, EasyCAD driver board. Um, it's now via this cable. And the Z-axis is also driving. Unfortunately, I was not able to find an EasyCAD version which has the um, Z-axis module enabled. So what I'm now just doing is simulating the Z-axis um, via the rotary axis. So if I press on mark now, we see that the axis is driving up a bit. And if I invert the logic of it and mark again, we see that the axis is driving a bit down. So, and also if we now mark something like so, We see that even after this short time, the noticeable hole is already marked into the aluminium. And I will just turn it off here to have it not so loud. So the next part is now to hunt for an EasyCAD version with the Z-axis um, control enabled. This is uh, shown in one YouTube video from Ch some Chinese seller, so I know it's available somewhere. And yeah, or let's see if we can can use Lightburn for this as well. As the uh, that access control is now really needed, as there is no manual way to get the access up or down, so it's yeah, not really uh, simple to put it in focus. And yeah, basically this is it for this small journey of the fiber laser or phaser laser. And I hope you liked it, that you yeah uh, know a bit what I'm doing. And yeah, have a great day.